So, this is a clinical case based question. A 42 year old male patient reported with fractured prosthesis. Intraoral examination revealed fractured prosthesis with 2 3, which is the canine given in the image over here, and numerous PFM crowns on posterior teeth. Okay. The treatment plan was crown lengthening with osseous reduction for 2 3 followed by temporization. What should be the minimum duration of temporization? Okay. Options are 1 weeks, 2 weeks, 3 months and 6 months. So, what exactly has been asked in the question is very technical. Let us try to understand the concept of biologic width first. Now, biologic width, if you see from here to here, there is some amount of epithelium in contact with the tooth. Okay, This epithelium is known as junctional epithelium. Below the junctional epithelium is the connective tissue up to the alveolar crest. So, the total of junctional epithelium and connective tissue underneath is known as biologic width. Given by Gargulo et al. and Vashek et al. The amount, the measurement of this junctional epithelium is 2.04 mm or nearly 1.9 mm. Now, what is the significance of biologic width? The biologic width is important in maintaining the periodontal status of a tooth. If the value of biologic width is reduced, that means if this epithelium compromised or if the connective tissue is compromised, it leads to bone loss and therefore recession, therefore failure of restoration, prosthetic failure and periodontal failure. Now try to understand that this is a tooth okay, in the socket. This is your alveolar bone. This is your gingiva. If you want to place the margin over here, this is supra gingival margin, no problem, go ahead as it is. Supposing you want to give a sub gingival margin. Then this amount of gingiva is affected. The junctional epithelium is affected in this case. But the total biologic width is still around 2 mm or greater than that. So biologic width has not been touched in this case. But suppose if you want to go deeper, if you want to place the margin here because the tooth structure is less. So here you are reducing the junctional epithelium considerably and coming close to the alveolar bone. Because you are coming close to the alveolar bone, there is reduction in the epithelium, there is reduction in the connective tissue, there is reduction in the biologic width. So the body's response will be to take the alveolar bone away from the tooth. So there will be bone loss. Because the body wants to maintain this biologic width at all times. Because there is bone loss, again the gingiva will keep going down. So there will be gingival recession. Marginal breakdown. That means prosthetic failure, periodontal failure. Okay, so have you understood this? Now, coming to the question, why did I tell you all this? Is because the treatment plan here was crown lengthening. That means some amount of gingival tissue is being removed with osseous reduction and some amount of bone will also be removed around the tooth in order to maintain the biologic width. Now for the entire process, for the entire healing to be over, you need at least 3 months to 6 months for soft tissue and hard tissue healing. Okay, The question is what should be the minimum duration of temporization? That means when will you make the final impression? Correct. Duration of temporization means the phase from the preparation of the tooth periodontally and prosthetically till the time you receive the temporary, till the time you are keeping the temporary. So the final impression should be made after how many weeks or months? Definitely in one week or two weeks you cannot allow the bone to heal completely because it's a slow process that requires remodeling. 
coming to three months and six months. Now let's have a look at the explanation. So correcting or preventing biologic width violations, which is BWV, it can be corrected by surgical removal of bone from the restorative margin or by movement of attachment apically or by orthodontic movement. So if you have to increase the tooth size, you can either cut apically or pull it out incisally. So here perio comes into play, here ortho comes into play. In the current question, we are talking about crown lengthening. The new gingival position is reasonably stable by three months. In posterior quadrants, three months, you can go ahead with placing the margins, finishing the final restoration. In anterior area, six months is advisable for aesthetic demands. Okay, so that means in the given question, three months and six months are both correct answers. Now the question is what is minimum duration? So although six months is desirable to have a good aesthetic outcome, the minimum duration that you can leave it is three months. So the correct answer is three months.